Hey guys, this is Matt with 4hydroponics.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Hurricane Hydroponic Nutrient Lineup. So Hurricane Hydroponics are kind of a new nutrient company to the scene. They've had some good reviews so far and uh, everybody who's tried it around here has had good results. So we're going to go ahead and do, give a rundown real quick and show you uh, what they've got to offer. Um, the first up is going to be their storm cell and their storm cell is kind of like a pre-diluted veg formula uh, for seedlings, clones, uh, any kind of early veg plants. This is nice because it, you don't have to mix any extra parts. Uh, it does takes away the chances that you're going to overfeed a plant, you're going to nutrient lock out a plant, anything like that. So just mix this with water at the recommended dosages and give it to anything that's relatively small, pre-teen plant and it just takes a lot of the headache, a lot of the hassle out of it. It's got some high quality nutrients in there, really available, and plants really respond to it. Um, second up is gonna be their veg food, Tropical Storm 1, 2, and 3. Uh, we're gonna mix these according to the nutrient schedule. We're gonna use these every time we mix all three during veg, and we're gonna add that with one or two of their supplements. Um, but the base itself, you're gonna use a little bit more one than you're gonna use two and three. So you know you might be using five mils of one and three mils of two and three. So if you're gonna order any of this, just keep in mind you might wanna get a little bit bigger bottle than the bottle of the one. Um, in general, this is really high quality nutrients, this is just industry design nutrients. You know, they took other nutrients off the shelf, tested them, checked out what they were up to, and tried to make a nutrients that could offer the same thing for a good price point and maybe even improve upon some of the stuff that's out there today. And I think they've done a really good job with that. Um, it's a very concentrated nutrients. You know, I've seen personally where a nutrient in the greenhouse that we used to give 1500 to that plant for veg food. Now we're only giving it a thousand parts per million and we're getting the same response. In fact, if we're not careful, we can overfeed it, which in my opinion shows that it's a very available food source and you're not going to be paying for lots of stuff that's not really getting into your plant. Um, so a good veg program, low in heavy metals, clean, runs through any hydro system, drip, drip systems, it's not going to clog up or build up a bunch of scale. Uh, very stable with your pHs and your res, and in general just a good veg formula. If you're looking for some simple veg, this is a great three-part veg program to get started with. Uh, we're going to use this in conjunction with the CalMag. Um, they have a CalMag product that also stands alone. If you're looking for just a single CalMag product and you haven't picked one out yet, this is a great one to try. CalMag does a lot of things for the plant. It's going to increase uh, nodal spacing is going to get tighter, uh, better chlorophyll production, better stems, better stalks, larger leaf sets, all health, just all around healthier plants. Um, plants can use quite a bit of calcium magnesium and a lot of times the bases are doing a good job but a little boost can really help. So if you're looking for a standalone CalMag product to try out, this is a great one and this is a great addition to these flowering and vegging nutrients that these guys have uh, and I re really recommend checking it out. Next up we'll talk about is their flower food. It's a three part flower, uh, hurricane flower one, two, and three. Once again, we're gonna use a little bit more of the one than the two and three, so if you are gonna order some up, maybe just get a little bit bigger bottle. Uh, in general, same thing, very clean, clean looking, clean running, doesn't drip, uh, clog up lines, doesn't clog up pumps, not a lot of scale buildup, stable pH, and it's also low in heavy metals and just all around, once again, industry designed, trying to make uh, a really good nutrients for this industry specific. So if you're looking for a flower line, I really recommend trying it out. Once again, we're gonna use all three of these together every time we water and flower or whenever we feed and flower. Um, we'll look at some of their additives next. They have their silica. The silica is probably one of their better, one of the better silicas on the market right now. This is a monosilicic acid. It's one of the main available forms of silica out there. A lot of cheaper companies are putting different forms of silica that really aren't that available. The monosilicic is out there and a lot of people are charging a lot for it. This is a good price point on this product. A uh, very favorable form of silica for any system. And silica is going to do a couple things. It's going to, uh, well, it does quite a bit, but mainly it's going to reinforce cell wall structure. It's going to increase stem and stalk size, vigor, and it makes it more resistant to quite a few things uh, bugs, mold, mildew. Um, in general, any kind of pests are going to have a, a tougher time affecting that plant if that plant's got a lot of silica in its body. And we want to make sure the silica we're using is very available. And I can tell you this one definitely is. Uh, and it's, like I said, a very good price point for what it is. If you're not using the silica, I'd really recommend trying a little bit of it. Don't go overboard. But try a little bit and see if you can notice a difference. And I think you will. And if you're looking for a standalone silica, this is a great product for anybody out there already buying one of the more expensive versions of this product. Um, it does have a little bit of potassium in it, which does actually help in flower as well, keep density and yield and resin production and things like that up. So it's kind of a, it gives you two little benefits for the price of one there as well. 
but keep that in mind when you're mixing it, it does have a tiny bit of nutrients. And also anybody that hasn't used silica before, always mix silica first, never last. Um, it's the, it's kind of just a rule of thumb that people just assume everyone knows, but I'll say it just in case. If you never used it before, mix the silica first and then mix everything else, no matter what it is, after this product. Next, we're going to check out the white squall. Uh, white squall is a hypochlorous acid, which is very similar to the hyper, other hypochlorous acids on the market, clear res, uh, UC roots, those kind of products. Those products are designed, as well as this product is designed to keep a system basically running sterile. Any living organisms in there are usually unwanted when we're using a synthetic nutrient line, and so we're going to go ahead and zap them with some kind of hyperchlorous acid, hyperchlorous acid. And uh, what that's going to do is just give us uh, some peace of mind that we're not going to walk into some root rot, some biofilm. Also, we don't have to worry about scaling and things like that. Um, this nutrient's not known for producing a lot of scale, but in general, inside of a bucket system over long periods of time, you'll get that build up around the edges, and this helps reduce that. So using this in a long, on a long term, you'll have less clean at the end of your runs, um, and overall healthier crop. It also helps optimize your root area, just because the roots have a really clean area to grow, and they're not being stifled by any kind of uh, bad bacteria. Um, some people do run living systems. I know that's a thing for hydroponics. They're running uh, HydroGuard or Orca. You wouldn't really want to run this in that system. That wouldn't do anything for you. It'd pretty much be uh, contradictory. But if you're running a cloning machine or a deep red system and you're already using UC roots or clear res, or you're making your own clone machine, you want to know how to make sure you don't get any bad bacteria growth in there, this is the product for you. Add it in there and you're going to have uh, no bacterial growth for the time those plants are in there and you won't have to worry about it. So great product and uh, also part of the lineup. Um, and then we're gonna look at these last three here. This is a nutrient powder. It's called the State of Emergency. It's a strong phosphorus potassium. Every flowering plant really prefers a little bit of extra phosphorus potassium than what the base is already giving it. And so this is a way to kind of boost it up in the middle of flower. The phosphorus is extremely important to plant energy. Um, it uses it for one of its main sources is called ATP. It's a really important part of ATP production. And uh, so phosphorus is something you really want to make sure you have around in an available form in flower. So part of this is going to be your phosphorus. And then in later flowering, they go to more of a potassium uh, driven, you know, feeding frenzy. And that's going to help with density, oil production, resin production, smell, and all around quality and ripening at the end of your flower. So adding this to any current line that you have should increase yield, resin production, output, quality all around. And you will see that especially if you're not using a current flower booster at all, you're just running the base straight, this will impress you with what it has. And if you're currently running a product like this, I tell you run a side by side and you'd be impressed. Um, the small amount of this goes a really long way, so you don't need a big jar, you're using your very small amounts of this, so price point, it's really cheap to run and it's really effective. And then last but not least, these two are soil conditioners basically. They have a tiny bit of nutrients and they help the plant in a lot of ways, but we're going to mix them in our soil or top dress them in during the plant's life cycle. So the first one's the new humic and the new humic is going to be humic acid. Um, humic acid's got micronutrients in it, and it also makes nutrients much more available than they already are. It also helps with root development. So there's a couple things there that already are going to really help your quality of uh, plant life, or your uh, plant's uh, quality of life. Um, so you know, mixing that in, top dressing that new humic in. If you have a large outdoor agricultural program, a large outdoor garden, something like this would be a really good option for you to help recondition your soil. It helps with balancing soil pH. It helps with water retention, water delivery, all around good product. And then this is going to be their silica powder. So if you don't want to run the liquid, if you're not running hydro or, or soilless and you want to try just mixing some silica into your medium and get the best of the silica without having to use it in a liquid form, this is a, I think, a calcium silicate. And that's going to add a little bit of calcium in there. The silica itself will do the same thing liquid does. It's going to increase yield, density. It's going to increase resistance to pest mold. Uh, stresses like heat and cold. So especially if you're outdoors in a greenhouse, um, any of that kind of stuff, silica can give you a lot of bigger, uh, bigger window of plant tolerances basically. So we're going to mix that in or top dress that into our medium and uh, you're going to see a lot of benefits from just doing that simple, simple program. So all this is going to be available on our website. It's already on there. We've sold quite a bit of it already. Uh, if you haven't heard about it, check it out. It's, got, it's been around for a little while and it's got a lot of good reviews. Um, they do have an Instagram to check out and things like that. So I um, hope this video got you hyped about Hurricane Hydroponics. We've seen some good results here in our little greenhouses and with our customer clientele and it's worth checking out. It's on our website, 4hydroponics.com. We'll see you next time.